Hey, fixed income guys. Um, long time no recording. It's time for me to start doing to hit the ground again. So what I want to talk about today now is about futures. Okay. And what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about futures in general, right? And I will focus only on one thing and one thing only. Why the future price is determined by current market conditions. So if you have a future, let's say you have a future on the stock, right? Say you have a stock S and you expect that the price of the stock S, which is now 50, okay, will be 60 in one year, okay? Now, if you think that it's going to be 60, you could say, okay, a priori, I could actually, you know, sign a futures contract where I will say, okay, I'm, I, my, my, the price of the futures contract will be 60, okay? And that's it. And whoever enters into a contract with me will have to buy or sell the stock, you know, at this price, whether or not, you know, uh, at this price a year from now, okay? Now, this kind of, you know, this kind of 60, this is just a number that I invented. Maybe I have, you know, I'm running like a big operation, analyst operation, and then I have all this elaborate discount cash flow analysis, right? And I determine that, you know, according to the Gordon Gross model, it will be 60 because I have some expectations of the dividends and whatnot, right? But this 60, okay, is my prediction. Okay? Nothing to do with the current stock price. Now, in this case, if I have something, if I have a situation like this, right, it turns out that I can actually make money, okay? Independent, independent, right, you know, uh, independent of the, you know, of my expectations, right? So it doesn't matter if the stock goes up or down, I can still, you know, uh, based on the future contract, I can still make money. So say, let's assume, right, that the interest rate, the current interest rate, which is current, is going, is let's say 5%, okay? So what I'm going to do now, let's say that I'm entering this futures contract, right? So what I'm going to do now, okay, I'm going to borrow $50, okay? I'm going to borrow $50 and I'm going to buy the stock now. Okay, the key is now. Not a year from now, I'm going to buy the stock now. So I'm, I'm going to buy the stock, okay? So I, I can buy one share because it's one dollar, right? Now, how much I'm going to owe to the bank, right? At the end of the at the end of the year, right? If I have a five percent, you know, if my current interest is five percent, I'm going to owe fifty two point five dollars. Now, the sixty dollars is a price that I expected, but it could be also fifty nine or fifty three. Doesn't matter, right? If let's say I have a contract with fifty three and somebody want, you know, and somebody can buy from me the stock for $53 or for $60 or $100, does it matter, let's say 53, right? What will happen is that I have $53, I can sell 53 for 53, right? And then I can pay off the bank. So I'm going to stay with 0 0.5, with 50 cents, right? As a free money. It's a free money, guys. Right. I have a stock with $50. I have an interest of 5%. Any price priced above $52, right? Any price which is priced above $52, 
I am a seller will make money no matter what no matter what the you know no matter what the the price why because of this simple mechanics I'm borrowing money from the bank I'm going to the market I will buy the stock now and I'm go going to hold it for a year now I do not care what will be the price a year from now right because what I'm going to do I'm going to sell for a price which is higher for the amount that I own the bank this is what I own the bank so I will make money no matter what the price of the stock will be. If the price of the stock will be 30, I can't care less. I will sell it for 53. Okay? Right? So basically, basically, in this situation, okay, in this situation, I must as a seller have incentive to have a to have a to have a price which is bigger than this price. Because I will make money. It's a risk-free, it's a risk-free money. And we have one. Fundamental rule of the market, no free lunch. No free lunch, guys, right? So the 52.5, right? The 52.5 is a price where it's like the minimum price in which I'm a seller will not make money. Lo and behold, the same argument, but vice versa, instead of buying a stock today, right? and then selling it a year from now, I can actually, from a buyer's perspective of a futures contract, I can actually short the stock and do the same argument. Okay? I can actually do that. Okay? So from that perspective, and maybe it will be homework for you, figure out a way, so if, if the, if the $52.5, right, is not, you know, is not, uh, is not the fair price of the stock, right, and I'm as a buyer, you know, and let's say it's 50, can I make money as a buyer? That's the question. Okay? And you'll see, and I think you'll see that you can. Right? So from that perspective, from that perspective, right, you're actually, you know, you're actually make, going to make money as a seller if the price is not 52.5, right? So this, because, because you have a free lunch, you know, what is important to understand that you are buying the stock now, you are not buying it a year from now. Because you are buying it now, right, if the price, you know, and it fixes how much you own the bank, is a 52.5, right, is a price that you will own the bank. So if you have a price which is below that, right, you will lose money as a seller. If you have a price which is above that, you will make money as a seller, right? Because you sell it to the other party, and you know, the agreement is already pre-specified. Okay, so this is basically the most elementary, you know, elementary uh, version of uh, arbitrage in markets. Okay, and this is like the most fundamental way. Okay, how you can think about these things, and the beauty is right that you are actually can make money without, you know, and you don't care whether it's up or down or whatever because you have this pre, pre specified contract. Okay, and this is actually a key and a very important point okay in the market trading so you know when we talk about futures when we talk about equity futures when we talk about you know bond futures it doesn't matter okay we will always you know we will always assume that we have a you know that we have a price which is today's price times you know uh, times are my interest rate times t where t is my maturity of the contract okay very simple very very simple all right so this was a video about futures and you know just just think about that and the homework here right i i may i showed you how to make the money for sellers right if i'm a seller i'm going to buy the stock i'm going to borrow the money buy the stock now wait for a year and then i'm going to to, to sell it a specified price which is higher than this price right and as a buyer, think about how you do it. You need to go to the other side. All right? So great teaching you, and hopefully we'll see each other in class. Thank you, and bye.